Remarkable progress has been achieved in the East and Southern African ESA region almost three years after ministers of health and education from 20 countries committed to scaling up comprehensive sexuality education for young people. The 2013 ESA commitment brought together the education and health sectors as well as policymakers and young people to review specific targets to be achieved by 2020. Sandy Sile Schumer is a UNESCO consultant. So the ESA commitment has really served as a platform for countries to bring together various sectors which all had a different stake in, in working towards achieving positive health outcomes for young people. It's provided an opportunity for them to work together in a coordinated manner so that there's a single and coherent response in each country in order to achieve various health outcomes and educational outcomes for young people. Ms. Shuma is happy with the progress made by various countries including Zambia. We've seen a lot of progress in, in many of the countries. For instance, the provision of um, training to teachers on how to provide comprehensive sexuality education. Countries have been developing curricula that are of improved quality and can provide young people with the appropriate knowledge and skills that they need. As well as a lot of research being done around um, how to provide, how to create an enabling environment in terms of the provision of um, sexual and reproductive health services in the various countries. And UNESCO Regional Programs Coordinator Victoria Canobe says young people deserve to know about their personal growth in sexual education. When we teach them about what is going on in their own bodies, we teach them about their rights to say no to sex, when we teach them about what is actually taking place within their bodies and how to relate with other people in a healthy environment, age appropriately, in a culture sensitive manner, then they are able to make informed decisions about when to delay sexual debut, about when to engage in sexual activities, and also how to live positive lives and realize their dreams and potentials. Despite existing challenges at the regional and national levels, it is worth noting that most countries are progressing towards integrating and institutionalizing comprehensive sexuality education in the formal education sector. Mike Mubanga, Movie TV News, in Johannesburg, South Africa. Set an exam.